Welcome to a new video from EU Droneport. In this video, we will dive into the C2 UAS class identification label. By January 1st of 2024, all UAS will have to be certified with a class identification label. According to their class identification label, they will be able to fly in one scenario, guaranteeing at any time compliance with the delegated regulation 2019-947. C2 drones can be used in the open category, A2 subcategory. The C2 class label has the following characteristics. The UA shall have a maximum takeoff mass of 4 kilograms. This weight includes its payload. The maximum attainable height above the takeoff point is 120 meters. It is important that the UAS is safely controllable regarding stability, maneuverability, and data link performance by a remote pilot following the manufacturer's instructions. The easier, the better. In the case of a tethered UA, the manufacturer shall guarantee that the tensile strength with a security factor is under a certain value. All UA configurations, except for the fixed wing, shall have a selectable low speed mode of three meters per second. The UA shall have an appropriate mechanical strength that is able to resist the resulting forces and stress from the flight. It is necessary that the UAS is designed and constructed in such a way that it will prevent injury to people during operation. Sharp edges in the structure shall be avoided. In case of a loss of a data link, the UA shall recover the data link or terminate the flight in order to reduce risk to air and ground third parties. It is not allowed for the UA to exceed sound levels detailed in Part 13. The UAS needs to be powered by electricity and has a maximum nominal voltage of 24 volts. The UA shall display a unique physical serial number compliant with CTA 2063. The pilot must be able to upload the operator registration number and broadcast telemetry information. The UA shall be able to upload airspace information by the operator. Additionally, the system shall be able to warn the pilot when a breach in unauthorized airspace takes place entering determined airspace shall not be possible for the UA. This limit shall be imposed smoothly without adversely affecting the flight operation. Additionally, the UA shall notify the pilot through warnings. When the battery reaches a certain level, the pilot shall be warned by the UA. This threshold shall be defined in such a way that the pilot has enough time to land in a safe manner. The UA shall be equipped with a light system that ensures the control of the aircraft from the ground during the night. The control lights shall comply with aviation standards. The visibility lights shall be intermittent and green. The UAS shall have a detailed user manual that reflects the maximum takeoff mass, class, and general characteristics. Additionally, the operative behavior and limitations must be described. And lastly, the UA shall include an information notice published by the European Union Aviation Safety Agency about limitations and obligations within the implementing regulation 2019-947. For more information regarding the C2 class identification label, visit eudroneport.com or click the link in the description. Safe flights.